you tell me who's who's maybe come out of the bullpen first? Um, I would say the first guy that 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 and we even debated potentially starting him on Sunday. He's been so good for us as Alex Eubanks. You know, Eubanks is a guy that is he's kind of a right-handed version of Barnes. He just pounds the strike zone with three pitches. Great competitor. Uh, doesn't have necessarily an overwhelming fastball, but a really good breaking ball. Throws two breaking balls so he can get swings and misses. Has sink on the fastball, makes you put it on the ground. Uh, Yubi's a guy that we're going to throw a lot out of the pen. That's why we wanted to keep him in the pen to be able to use him twice in a weekend as opposed to just starting him on a Sunday. Um, Schnell you know, has thrown extremely well lately. He was in the mix of potentially starting and could be wind up being a guy that we use in long relief or pitch in the middle of the week once we get to that point. Um, another guy that's thrown very, very well uh, is Garrett LaVorne. Garrett LaVorne has flashed some low 90s, some you know 91s and 92s with three pitches. Uh, I think Garrett's going to throw a lot of innings for us. Uh, Riley Gillum is a guy. We kind of look at, at Gilliam as our eighth inning guy and Bosick as our ninth inning guy. Gilliam has the best breaking ball on the staff. He can really spin a breaking ball. So he's a little guy. I uh, think Daniel Gossett, you know, he's kind of a Daniel Gossett type guy. Um, you know, he's a, he's a really twitched up athlete with an explosive fastball and a really, really wipe out, it's a wipe out breaking ball. So uh, we're, we, we feel like that's what we want to do, kind of use Eubanks, Lavorn, Schnell, Pat Crawl. Um, Pat Crawl is a very, very valuable piece to this bullpen. I could see us, depending on when our starter goes out, you know, we may we may run a Eubanks out after a Barnes. We may run a crawl out after a Schmidt to give a lineup a much different look going from the right-hander to the left-hander. But also with crawl uh, and Eubanks, you could play matchup. Once you're done with the starter, uh, you can look at their lineup, and if it's a very left-handed lineup coming up, say in the sixth inning, we may run crawl out there to be a little, you know, to give them that left-hander. Uh, if it's a right-handed lineup, we may go Eubanks in that situation. I think those two guys will be the first out of the pen, depending on the lineup, uh, and also depending on who they're following, you know, to give the lineup a different look. Uh, but you're gonna see, um, you know, LaVorne and Chanel um, as well, uh, and uh, Gilliam and Bostic will be the guys that we wanna try to get to. If we're pitching Gilliam and Bostic, uh, then uh, we're in good shape. How close are you on a lineup? Uh, I'm pretty close on the lineup. I mean, I think I think we feel good about um, you know who's going to be on the field. It's just a matter of what order you know we decide to hit them in. Um, a lot of it's going to be dependent upon kind of what we do with Oki and Rollman. You know who we choose to protect who, and and how we do that. Uh, whether we hit one in front of the other, uh, but we feel pretty we feel pretty set um, infield wise, obviously catching wise. Uh, it's just a matter, again, of what we do in left field, depending on that DH spot. Um, if we play Roman, we'll DH. You could see us DH a Jolly. Um, you know, if, if we DH Jolly, then it could open up the opportunities for a Wharton, a Malik Gibson, uh, maybe even a KJ Bryant here and there who can really, really run and play defense uh, in right or center. Uh, so we have a lot of options in the outfield. Uh, we're not as deep in the infield. Uh, but, um, you know, that's kind of, uh, you know, where I'm at right now. It's just a matter if we play more of a defensive lineup or offensive. But for the most part, I feel pretty good, you know, probably with eight of the nine spots, seven of the nine spots right now. In the order, do you have a one, two, uh, you like? Uh, you know, this could change. You know, I would say uh, the one guy that I I'd, I'd, I'd probably would go with if we were going to ride it today, I'd probably go Pender in the leadoff spot. I think Pender gives you a guy that can run. It gives you quality at bats. You look at his numbers from last year. You know, his hit by pitch and walk uh, was slightly better, I believe, than his Ks. And I like a guy that's got a, you know, at least an even walk hit batter ratio to his strikeouts or even higher. You know, we want our leadoff guy to be a very high on base percentage guy. We feel like Pender gives us a, a good option there. Uh, I want to try to get Eli White up to the plate as much as possible. Uh, so I could see him probably, you know, in that two hole. But Eli could hit third, too, if we decided we wanted to hit a lefty in the two spot to open up the hole on the right side of the infield. Um, but Eli's going to hit, you know, probably two or three in that mix. Eli's hit. I think Eli's hit four or five home runs in the preseason. I mean, he's swinging the bat really, really good. 
uh, and he hits balls to all fields and he can run. So, uh, you know, he's uh, he's been very, very impressive um, offensively. And then in the middle, you know, you're going to see Rollman, you're going to see Oki, and, and I would say Chris Williams has got to be in that mix. Chris Williams has been a guy that's really swung the bat well. Weston Wilson's hitting the ball well. I would say Weston, you know, could potentially be in that 5-6, you know, spot as well. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, we think we, you know, we, we think we know, you know, kind of the moving parts as far as, you know, how we want to build the lineup. Again, it's just going to depend on who we decide to protect who, whether it's Oki protecting Rollman or Rollman protecting Oki in, that, in the middle of that order. Any injuries uh, and then helping with that? Um, no, you know, we're knock on wood. I don't see, knock on wood. We, uh, we're fairly healthy right now, uh, which is a good thing. Our pitching staff's fairly healthy. Um, Positionally, we're healthy. Uh, nobody's uh, questionable or, or out uh, in terms of health uh, for this weekend. Do you have an idea of how good this team can be, or is it one of those things, ask me after Sunday? You know what? I, I, I think it's going to be I, – I, look, I feel the same way every year, to be honest with you. You don't – every team is a different team. You know, you, unless you've got a lot of guys returning lineup-wise and pitching-wise, you have a, a better feel for how they're going to perform. Um, as, far as, as far as I go, I feel very confident about our team because, look, you gotta, you got to throw strikes, you need pitching depth, and you got to play good defense to keep you in any ball game. Well, I think we have – uh, the starting pitching to, to get us quality starts. I think we've got enough bullpen options that could come in and throw strikes and compete at a high level to where I feel good about our pitching staff. Now, they haven't faced anybody but our hitters. So when another team is in that other dugout, there's a lot of factors involved in that. You're facing somebody else for the first time. You're, uh, you know, when you get on the rubber and, and get the sign from Oki, you know, there's 5,000 people behind you. So there's a lot of different factors involved in how these guys are going to perform. Can they compete and perform under pressure? That's the question that we have to answer as a team. It's how does this team play under pressure? And uh, how do we play when somebody else is in the other dugout? In terms of inter squads, our guys have performed very well. But, uh, you know, we got to see how these guys do once uh, somebody else is in that dugout. But lineup wise, I mean, anybody in the country would sign Chris Oakey. If you said you could have Chris Oakey as your catcher, anybody in the country would want him. Now, Chris Williams, he's a really, really good hitter. I think he's got a chance to be a special hitter. And if I had to catch him, we wouldn't miss much of a beat. I think he'll be here one year next year as our catcher, and then he'll be gone in the draft. Uh, shortstop, Eli White. Eli White's got as much range as the most athletic shortstop I've probably ever had. So, and he can hit. So, uh, Weston Wilson started for two years, very comfortable at second base. Uh, Pender, uh, very good center fielder. Uh, played a lot as a true freshman last year. Uh, I think, you know, you look at it, you know, you got Rollman. Is there a better hitter in the ACC than Rollman? I, I, not that I know of. Um, so, you know, we've got some experience. And we got Seth Beer, by the way, who's one of the best freshmen in the country. So I feel good, you know. But I'm always going to feel good, you know, going into the first weekend. We haven't played anybody yet. So, But we got to perform under pressure. And it's my job to try to take as much of that pressure off of them, keep them loose. Uh, make sure that uh, if something does go wrong, we don't hit the panic button. Hey, just relax, stay focused, and keep competing. And uh, But I feel very good about it. I'm excited about it. I'm looking forward to seeing how some of these guys that haven't pitched yet in this program, um, you know, how they perform once they get out there. Are those the biggest kind of unknowns heading into this weekend, just competition? I think, I mean, the only the, the biggest unknown for me is, is, is how we'll – um, our pitching staff compete under pressure when they haven't been in that pressure of a situation yet. You know, I feel good about Barnes. Barnes has pitched a little bit. Clayton's pitched an awful lot. I feel good about Clayton when he toes the rubber. He's been there, done that. Uh, you know, Higginbotham's never pitched here. So it's going to be a great thing for me to see. How does he perform under pressure for the first time? So that's the big thing. You know, how does Bostic do as a closer? You know, he's done pretty dang good against our hitters. Uh, Riley Gillum, you know, how does he do in pressure situations? They haven't, they haven't done it in those roles yet. We've got guys that are going to pitch in roles they haven't pitched in before. So it's my job to keep them loose and relaxed and keep running them out there so that they can get comfortable and not put a tremendous amount of pressure that, hey, if you don't pitch well, you're probably not going to pitch for two weeks.
You know, we got to keep running these guys out there and get them comfortable, you know, and hopefully after week one, we know more going into week two. And after week two, we know more going into week three, so on and so on. Is there also a little more anxiety because there's not a lot of scouting reports first week of the season? You know what, I don't, I, I honestly, I've never been a guy that spends a whole lot of time uh, when it comes to, you know, uh, scouting reports. I look at the pitchers, I want to know, you know, what their walk to strikeout ratios, uh, what their arm slot is, what kind of stuff they have, right-handed, left-handed, where are they strong, where are they weak. I just look more at that. You know, you want to pick out the guys in the lineup that are dangerous and know which guys you want to be careful with. But for the most part, I just kind of worry about what we do in regards to who we're playing. If we throw strikes, play good defensively, execute offensively, you know, then we can play with anybody. So, you know, scouting reports, we do look at them. They are important, but, you know, everybody's got a plan until you get punched in the face. You know, that's Mike Tyson said that. So um, I look at it that way. You know, you can have the best game plan in the world against somebody until you go out there and, and somebody doesn't perform. It's, again, it's all about execution. Your guys, you got to feel confident and your players have to feel confident that they can go out there and execute. And if we execute, uh, then I feel really good about us playing against anybody.